How can a homeowner pick which solar inverter is the best for their home? We're going to be answering this question in today's video. Let's get started. everyone, Martina with Solar Time here and for the past 13 years I've been part of the solar family business. Over the years I gained knowledge on every aspect of this industry and helped thousands of people go solar. This channel will focus on solar and storage facts. I want to provide you with reliable information in a nutshell. The goal is to save you time on researching unnecessary details so you, the future system owner, can install the most cost-effective and reliable system. As a woman, many may think we can't do this, and I will prove you wrong. When it comes to solar inverters, many may say that this is the second most important part of the system after the panels. I will disagree. I think this is the most important part of it. And to be honest with you, if you're working with a limited budget, you would much rather spend money on a premium inverter with less expensive panels than a cheaper inverter with premium panel. I will explain why in a minute. The subject of the inverters is rather long, so we will split it into a few videos. Today, we will focus on top four options available in the US market in 2022. More videos will come in the next few weeks talking about specifications, advantages, disadvantages, and all that jazz. Make sure to subscribe not to miss those videos. So today, focusing on top four, we're not picking a winner here. This is not a one size fits all type of situation. What might be great solution for you will not necessarily be the best solution for your neighbor or a friend. Before we talk about the actual options, let's remind ourselves what the inverter does. Now this refers to both micro and string inverters. In most basic words, its job is to convert direct current that the panels produce to alternating current that is used by your home. You simply can't just power your home with DC power from the panels. You need that inverter to make that power usable. And this is exactly why I say the inverter is the most important part of your system because without it working properly for a long time, your panels are not worth much or anything for that matter. When talking about top inverters, we have to divide them into three main categories. First one being the string inverter. Those are also referred to as central inverters. They're installed close to your meter or inside your garage, and you usually need one or a few depending on the system size. But this is your central unit. They're the size of a small carry-on luggage. Second one being micro inverters. They're smaller, about the size of a book, and they go underneath each panel individually. So however many panels you get, that's how many microinverters you will need. And lastly, an optimizer-based system, which is somewhat a combination of a micro and a string inverter. This one includes a central unit, but also adds power optimizers to each individual panel to optimize its production when shading is involved. What I wanna make sure you understand is, is that these are electronic devices. So you wanna make sure that the brand that you choose will stand behind the product for a long time. I think this is the most important part when choosing one of these inverters. Panels don't break often, if at all. So inverters will be the device that might fail. The company has to be reliable and execute their warranty. Microinverter solution, as well as the optimizer-based solution, will be the more expensive option, but for a good reason. They both were initially invented to isolate each panel to work individually and maximize power output. Now let's get into more details here. We don't really have many homes with A-shaped roofs. Rather, we tend to have much funkier options like these. So for that reason, shape can be caused by trees, but also by the roof itself. So the biggest benefit of micro and optimizer based system is the fact that each panel works independently. On top of that, in America, system on rooftops are required to have what's called the rapid shutdown system for both micro inverters as well as power optimizers, those serve that purpose. String inverter, on the other hand, will be your less expensive option, but not less premium. Going back in time, this is how it all started. String inverters were the first, so they're pretty much as perfect as they get. Some may say it's older technology, but why change something that works for that long? 
If your roof is A-shaped with no shading issues or you're installing your panels on a ground-mounted system or a carport, you absolutely do not need to spend additional money on power optimizers or microinverters. Those do not make power. They either help if it's needed, but if it's not, it's not necessary. Big different sales representative will point out when talking about string inverters is that they operate at a higher voltage. But both micro and string inverter systems are perfectly safe as long as they're installed by professionals. So don't fall for that sales tactic. There are a lot of string inverter brands out there, but we highly recommend two European ones, SMA and Fraunus. Those two can actually be installed on its own as a string inverter if there is no shading issues, but they can also be paired with Tygo power optimizers to create an optimizer-based system. Now, if you're not dealing with any complicated roof or shading, there is no need for additional cost of the optimizers. Good example here are commercial and utility scale projects that focus on fast return on investment and specifically use string inverters to maximize savings. No optimizers or microinverters are needed because they would only add additional cost. So let's take a look at the first string inverter by Fronius. It is an Austrian-made product by a company that just celebrated 70, 75th birthday. This manufacturer started making their inverters a little later though, in 1992. This is a European-made product, so we can expect high quality and reliability in the long term. We have used this inverter in Europe and USA and have had very low failure rate. As a European-made product, it is not going to be the cheapest. If you look at their monitoring platform, it looks very good and provides you with the most important data that you need. We definitely need to make a video about different monitoring solutions. Coming soon! Next, SMA. This company has been in business of doing inverters since 1981, so over 40 years of experience. They were one of the first inverter manufacturers in the world. They do have the most experience out of all the four talking about, that we're talking about today. Their product is engineered and made in Germany. Over the years, we've installed thousands of their Sunny Boys with very low failure rate. Here I must point out that both Fronius and SMA have a great customer service record with reliable warranty and easy replacements for broken units. SMA has a service called SMA Smart Connect. This monitors the health of your system and automatically initiates warranty claims well before you, the homeowner, or the installer can notice it. They just ship the replacement product directly to the installer for them to then replace the faulty unit and they pay for labor too. This string inverter, just like Fronius, can be installed on its own, but also with power optimizers where needed. They did come out with a new feature called Shade Fix. It means that it uses intelligent MPP tracking system to determine the operating point with the highest output during shading conditions. With SMA Shade Fix, they claim that no power optimizers are needed, and I think we personally need to test this and show you the results. SMA does have something cool, which is called Secure Power Supply, which allows you to pull up to two kilowatts of power per each inverter during a grid outage without a battery backup. Both Fronius and SMA come with a warranty extendable to 20 years. Additional feature for both SMA and Fronius is that when paired with Tygo optimizers, you get panel level monitoring as well as double security, as you get two monitoring apps, not just one so you can verify data on two separate platforms. Oh, and I almost forgot, do not get told that with string inverters, when one panel is down, all of them are. Christmas light statement is from the past and no professional representative should be selling you this lie. Now let's look at the microinverter system. Like I said at the beginning, this system was designed to maximize power output where shading is involved. In this case, each panel gets its own individual inverter. So this type of conversion will definitely be more expensive. The reason for it is simply that you get the same amount of small inverters as the number of panels you install. So inverters are like small computers, they're electronic devices, so they are more pricey. In USA, the most popular and reliable microinverter manufacturer is Emphase. They were founded in 2006 in California and their first microinverter system was introduced in 2008. 
With Enphase, you can monitor each panel individually and they're able to maximize each panel's output independently. So if one goes out, it does not affect the rest of the panels. Enphase recently introduced their newest generation microinverter, IQ8. This inverter allows for what is called sunlight backup, similar to what SMA has with secure power supply. Basically, ability to access your solar production during an outage without adding a battery. Enphase is a very high quality product with a higher price tag. Their microinverters are on a 25 year warranty. Their monitoring platform is also very informative and provides you with all the needed information. One thing I would like to add here is that solar is not that complicated. It generates electricity. So those monitoring apps will be able to give you all that data, but that's pretty much all you need. Okay, let's talk about third, optimizer-based system. There is SMA Fraunus paired with Tygo optimizers, but the third optimizer-based system is by SolarEdge. This is sort of a hybrid system between string and microinverter that uses the central unit as well as the optimizers. In this case, you get the same benefit of microinverter system, but with a slightly different technology. Optimizer-based systems are slightly cheaper than microinverter systems. So back to our fourth option for your inverter, Solar Edge. It was established in 2006 in Israel and was the first to develop the DC optimizer solution. For many, many years, they were really the only optimizer-based option available in our market. After big dominance, they've been challenged now by Tygo optimizers. Both are still very popular and reliable. Biggest difference though between the two is that Tygo optimizers work with any string inverter. You can pair it with whatever. Whereas Solar Edge optimizers must be paired with a Solar Edge string inverter. Another difference is that with Solar Edge, you must use a power optimizer on every single panel. And with Tygo, you can place it only on the panels that experience shading. So there is some savings right there. The Solar Edge inverter warranty is extendable to 20 or 25 years, depending on the model. Their monitoring platform is also very well put together. On the other hand, Tygo Energy is a company that was founded in 2007 in California, and they are considered a worldwide leader in MLPE, Module Level Power Electronics. Tygo optimizers are on a 25-year warranty, just like Solar Edge optimizers, and Tygo also provides you a separate monitoring for panel level production. Now, the biggest question is whether you really need panel optimization at all. If you really don't, you could save yourself quite a lot of money by not installing those additional module level devices. Same goes for microinverters. If you have a simple roof with no shading or lots of land where you can install a ground mount system, it would be really hard for me to justify the extra cost. Now, if you have a complicated roof facing different directions with lots of shading, panel level optimization or microinverters will be well worth the cost. All three string inverter options can be paired with power optimizers and provide you with module level monitoring. Now, watching that app gets boring after a few weeks, so buying a product based on the monitoring app, in my opinion, is not the best way to go. To sum it all up, all these options we spoke of today, like Fronius, SMA, Tygo, Enphase, and Solar Edge, are all reliable companies that are great at what they do. All these products would be recommended by me. Your decision should be made based on your roof and preference. If your neighbor has a solar edge system or an Enphase microinverter and tells you you should do the same thing, don't fall for it. Do your own research, see what system would work for your home best and which manufacturer you feel most comfortable with. In the coming weeks, I will work on videos that will dive deeper into each individual inverter and their specifications. There's just so much to talk about when it comes to inverters. And if I wanted to do it now, we would probably be here for at least two hours. So you clearly do not have time for listening to me for that long. You need to make money to get yourself an awesome solar system installed. Doing the research for you is my job. So. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give this video a big like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next week, and remember, the sun will never send you an electric bill.